The possibility of the Queen abdicating has been called into question in recent weeks after a string of health scares. The worries began when Her Majesty cancelled an official visit to Northern Ireland after being told to rest by Dr. Days later it was announced by Buckingham Palace that she had spent one night in a London hospital for preliminary tests. Royal commentator Dickie Arbiter says the Queen won't step down anymore unless she is forced to, on the Today Show. Mr Arbiter said, she won't step back further unless she is forced to step back further. Shush is committed to the job. Shush has been committed to the job since long before her coronation and she will continue doing it. Certain things will be scaled back. She doesn't travel as we know since 2012, since the Diamond Jubilee, that's left to Charles and William. He added, there are times when there are long periods of standing which she won't do, like going to the Cenotaph, which was unfortunate but it did require not only a 50-mile round trip from Windsor to London and back again, but also standing on her feet and when you're going through back pain, that is pretty gruesome. So they will they will look very carefully at the engagements, but we will see her in public. Host Karl Stefanovic added, I had the great fortune of meeting her and honor of meeting her a few years ago. Maybe 15 years ago, she was 80 at the time and it blew me away how much energy she had, and she doesn't just walk around she engages with people as well. That's all pretty sapping as Prince Charles said last night, it's hard at 70, let alone 95. The monarch's health has shined a light on her busy schedule and caused a call for younger members of the monarchy to step up. Since returning from her annual summer holiday at Balmoral, the Queen undertook official engagements in Wales, England, and Scotland. After being hospitalised it was reported that changes would be made, and the monarch would not attend events without another member of the royal family present in order to minimise disappointment if she were to cancel last minute. The Queen is set to celebrate her Platinum Jubilee next year, which will celebrate her 70 years on the throne. She is currently the longest reigning monarch in the history of the British monarchy.